Hi guys, welcome to a video and in today's video I just wanted to talk to you about the book Portrait of a Marriage. It is by Nigel Nicholson but that's I'll get to that in a second. If you don't know what Portrait of a Marriage is about, it is about the writer and socialite Vita Sackville West and her affair, no no, stormy affair with Violet Trefusis. And it is an affair that almost wrecked her marriage to Harold Nicholson. And Nigel Nicholson is their son. And upon Vita's death, he was in her study and he discovered locked away a short autobiography in which she wrote about her life and also this affair which seems to have stayed with her until the end of her days with Violet Trefusis. A lot of you will know Vita Sackville West from her affair with Virginia Woolf who is a prolific author and literary icon and we stand. But what a lot of people don't know about Vita Sackville West is that whilst people often associate her with Virginia Woolf, there was actually so much that happened before Virginia came into her life. Now I discovered this book through the TV series which I've already spoken to you guys about so you're welcome. And the story is quite remarkable for its time. The affair happened in the early 20th century, obviously homosexuality wasn't legal back then and was still a very controversial topic, it was still very frowned upon, but both Vita and her husband seemed to have these same-sex affairs and were quite open about it with each other and I do think it was common knowledge at the time amongst most of the people they knew. What I have to add to that though is Vita Sackville West was a very privileged figure and I do think finance gave her the freedom to express herself in this way in which a lot of working class women would not have been able to because of the consequences. Homosexuality wasn't legal and it could also damage your reputation beyond repair and you might almost certainly lose your job if it came to light. So whilst the contents of this book are from the early 20th century. The book wasn't actually published until the 1970s because of its explicit homoerotic, well mildly homoerotic but it's explicit homosexual content. Love that. Part of the book is Vita's own words and her own autobiography which I was just hooked. It was a page turner. When I tell you this affair was like a Spanish soap opera on crack, I mean it. It was sensational. The book is also dreadfully romantic. There's so many quotes in there that I fell in love with. And yes, there is a sentence in there about cunnilingus. I can always hear the clicking now of people placing orders for this for this book. I did have to question the motive of her son publishing this, but whatever his motives were, I'm glad that he did because I think historically it's very interesting to look at and also it's just good reading. One of my favourite quotes in the book is when Harold writes to Vita and tells her that she's like a jellyfish addicted to cocaine when it comes to Violet. I don't know, that part made me laugh. The book also explores life after Vita's affair with Violet and goes on to show that she had several other affairs, although none seem to live up to this tempest of an affair that she had with Violet, but it does also go into her relationship with Virginia Woolf. Not in too much great detail, you definitely do get an insight into the kind of relationship that Vita and Virginia had. I'm actually going to do a separate video about the Vita and Virginia relationship because there's just a lot to unpack. I'm surprised considering how much I love Virginia Woolf, I've only just found out about this whole other world of Vita Sackville West and it's so incredibly romantic. I can't even really describe it. It's something you'd have to read for yourself. But she really was ready to walk out on her husband and her children and everything for this woman. And it makes you wonder how many other profound love affairs happened between two women in the past which of course we'll never know about. So if you like period fiction, if you're a fan of Virginia Woolf, if you just want to read some vintage lesbian romance, I can highly recommend this book. That is what this quarantine has been about. Early 20th century sapphic affairs. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!